Good afternoon. Each day this week, I'm going to take a little time where we do a little devotional about this time each evening, where we just kind of look at what Jesus was doing his last week here on earth as we prepare to celebrate Good Friday and especially Easter Sunday morning and the resurrection of our Lord. I want to encourage you and invite you to come to our Good Friday service. It'll be online at 530 on Friday where we, are, we will stream the last 24-ish hours of Jesus on earth. We'll, talk, we'll read a lot of scripture, sing some songs, take communion, and remember the amazing sacrifice that Jesus did for us on the cross. Then Sunday morning, I can't wait. We're going to have worship together. We're going to join First Baptist Church in Marble Falls and Rock Pile Church here in Marble Falls and have a live drive-in Easter service at 10 a.m. at the Marble Falls High School parking lot. You probably want to come early because I think parking is going to be a little bit tough. But we have many extra parking lots for overflow. And we feel like we are going to be able to worship together. may not be in the same parking lot, but you will worship with others. And you won't be alone to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. It's going to be awesome. So I can't wait to see you there. Can't wait to have worship with you again. You know, each night, the Bible says, of the last week of Jesus's life, he went back to the Mount of Olives at night where he prayed and he rested and he recuperated after spending the day teaching, healing, sharing the message that he was brought on this earth to share. And he would go back to the Mount of Olives and he would recharge. He would get away and just rest. And I think God was giving Jesus an opportunity to prepare, to prep. You know, what Jesus had to do that week is probably greater than anything any human being has ever had to go through. In fact, the craziest part of it all is Jesus knew what he was going to do. He wasn't surprised when Judas betrayed him. He wasn't surprised when all the when all the trials were total shams. He wasn't surprised at how he was going to be mocked and beat and betrayed. He did it because he loves us. He did it because he knew it was the only way that he can reconcile humans to God and we could be restored into the relationship God intended for us all along. You know, this week, I encourage you to prepare. Take some time. Take, take a few minutes every night praying, asking God to speak to you, asking God to move in a mighty way this weekend, asking God to put people on, on your heart who you can share the gospel with, who you can serve through a phone call or a text, or maybe drop some cookies on their front porch. Who knows what it is, but ask God to show you that and then go do it. So let's spend some time preparing this week. I love you and I can't wait to see you soon. God bless.